exciting. In your Positively Richmond, four new exhibits featuring artists from around the region will soon open at the Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen. The center also just announced its lineup of shows for their 2023-2024 season. 8 News anchor Delaney Hall takes us there with all the details. Music, theater, and of course art, there's a lot going on at the Cultural Arts Center at Glen Allen this time of year, including four new exhibits that open to the public this week. Here to tell us more about them is Lauren Hall. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Can you tell us what these exhibits are about and what they showcase? Sure, so we have four galleries here at the center. We have on our slant wall gallery a show by B.D. Stelmacher. He's from Hampton Roads. His uh, fun, colorful um, acrylics are just big and vibrant and uh, full of life. And then in our Midway Gallery, we have a show by Michelle Davis Peatlands from North Carolina. She merges her Native American heritage as well as her African American heritage um, into her art, so it's full of texture and vibrancy. We have a new show by the Virginia Glass Guild in our Glass Doors Gallery, as well as a new exhibit opening in our Gummit Gallery on Thursday, um, which is um, a mixture of two different abstract artists um, showing their perspectives of abstracts from two different people. So a little bit of everything when it comes we to do. the kind of art you can see. We do, and everything's family friendly, but we do a little of everything here otherwise. Very cool. And to get an inside look at these exhibits, you guys have Art Night coming up on Thursday. So what is that all about? So Art Night is basically our gallery opening. It's a chance for people to come out to meet the artists, to see the new exhibits. We also have a fun art activity that'll be held in the gallery where um, you can try making your own abstract art through a fun game. Um, and then we have food and drink. Um, it's free snacks and a cash bar. <laughs> so when you say family friendly, the kiddos are welcome to come to this. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, perfect. And along with these four new exhibits, the center, you guys have also announced the lineup for this season and for the start of next year. So what are some of those highlights? So um, we just have our new um, center season brochure that came out. Um, and so we have a whole new season of theater shows in our 350 seat theater. Um, we also this year are excited that we have a new outdoor stage um, called Center Field. Um, and so all of those shows are in our brochure. But one of our big shows that's coming up in September is the Capitol Fools. Um, it's always been very popular. They're formerly known as the Capitol Steps, um, but they're coming back in September 9th and um, definitely tell people but if they want tickets, get them now. <laughs> yeah, it's very soon. Uh, it is. And then um, in the, the holiday season, we have our Christmas tree lighting that's really popular every year. Uh, people come out to see the big tree lit up outside by Santa, and then they come inside to see our Christmas trees on display. So just all sorts of things throughout the year. Very cool. And very quickly, art night Thursday, 6 to 8. Correct. And it's, it's a free event. Cash bar is the only thing that you pay for if you want to do some shopping in the gift shop. <laughs> nice. All right. If you want more information, you can just head to our website, wrac.com. For now, I'll see you on Good Morning Richmond starting at 430.